So here we have an oscilloscope that is slightly different than the one that you've used in lab. The main difference is that it has uh, some settings for two different uh, impedances that it measures at. So into this oscilloscope though, we have 10 kilohertz put in, and we also have channel two. Uh, we, have it put into, we have it put into channel two instead of channel one. That's really not a big deal. Um, we just need to make sure that we're measuring on channel two, which we are. Uh, so each block, if you look down here, this block it says two volts. So each block is roughly two volts. So that's eight volts peak to peak because it's four total blocks roughly. So it is also 10K, although that's not really as relevant. So over here, you can actually see that we have the uh, ability to change the uh, input impedance of this oscilloscope. So essentially the, the, the high impedance value, which is one, one mega ohm, is typically used for uh, lowest low frequencies. Uh, low frequencies to you is still probably uh, potentially pretty high. So so if there's in the, the 100k hertz range or uh, even a one mega megahertz range, that's still considered a low frequency. The high the high frequencies are more like one one gigahertz or, or higher. So so just keep that in mind. But anyway, so depending on what we're measuring. Uh, because of the capacitors inside this oscilloscope at really, really high frequencies, it, it can kind of kind of distort the sine wave. So we have the, this oscilloscope has the ability to switch uh, impedances. But the problem is, is, is as we do that, let me show you what happens. So right now it actually is on uh, a one, one mega ohm resistance. So if I hit the button right next to this to switch it to a 50, 50 ohm resistance, um, it, it looks like not much has changed, but if you look over here, the scale has actually changed. So actually now, now each block is only one volt. It kind of, it kind of auto set for us. So if, if the scale has changed, now it's only one, two, three, four. It's, it's only four volts peak to peak right now. And the only thing we've changed is the setting on the measuring device. So we're, we're just cycling between those. Uh, and actually as we go back, uh, it's it actually has not auto scaled so you can actually see that that much more smoothly so uh one channel two is with one volt that that hasn't changed but now it's taking up the whole screen as opposed to as with 50 ohm impedance it's only about half the screen so this is again all we're doing is changing the impedance of this device and it is drastically changing the voltage that we're reading